Welcome back to the Big Country Channel. Today I got my son Nathan who's uh, behind the camera today. He's helping me out. What I've got here is the uh, SKS bipod mount. I actually ordered it through Amazon. Uh, it came from Outdoor Bunker. 23 bucks, man. 23 bucks is all it cost me. Uh, that's what the backside look, looks like. Aim Sports. I don't know if y'all can see that in the camera or not. But what I like about this is that uh, it hooks directly to the bayonet. There was no extra, you know, bolts or a hook around. It goes actually around the barrel itself. So you can hook this right to the bayonet area if you so desire. Some of y'all may not want to do that, but it actually comes. Uh, had this uh, screw that came with it with the bolts. I'm not going to use this. Uh, I've already got the screw that came with the bayonet. I just took the bayonet off before I actually hooked it up. Uh, make sure that when you are hooking this up, uh, these legs do fold in, uh, so you want to make sure that this part here is facing in the direction of the barrel heading out, okay? So, and we'll show that in just a minute. What you want to do is uh, back out the screw here where your bayonet would normally go. Make sure that when you are taking this screw out that uh, if your bayonet is actually on here, make sure that it's not you hold the spring good because you don't want it to come shooting off at you, okay? All right, so we got that off of there. And then this right here should slide right in there. And we'll get this all matched up in here. Put this screw back through here. And this screw, you know, those of you who have an SKS, which I would suppose you do since you're watching this video, uh, you know that this only screws in on one side, okay? So it's only threaded on one side so it has to go in this way there's another way for it to go for us to just screw it correctly okay all right there you go and as you can tell that doesn't take long i just got this out of the mail open it up and it is ready to go let me shut this case for you guys to see a little bit better. But it looks to me like it's actually going to do pretty well. We won't really know until we put some rounds through it to see really how well this gun is going to shoot and how well it holds up. Uh, as far as uh, any kind of scope, if you guys got scopes on yours, that'll be my next thing is try to put a scope on here. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to change the stock yet. I just refinished this stock probably about. About a year ago, I refinished this stock, sanded it down, and I really like the wood grain on this stock. But I also kind of like tactical stuff, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. But uh, what I like about this, it is spring-loaded. You can see it has the springs on it. Uh, if you want to bring this in, it comes in just like this, and it's ready to go right into your case. It does have a little wiggle to it. That's not such a big deal because once it stands out, it's not going anywhere, and your gun's pretty solid. Uh, it does have the uh, release springs here on the bottom, so if you want to bring this here up, these right here just drop out and lock in. And uh, so you can set these up any way you want, as high as you want to give a nice height adjustment there for you guys that might be interested in that. Alright, really some cool stuff there. I think, it's, actually, I think it's going to turn out pretty well. Um, can't wait to get it on the field and see how well it works. And uh, just to kind of show you guys, $23. Bayonet mount bipod. Appreciate you tuning in. Come back and see me later.